In this video, we're going to show you how to remove the top cover of your automower. When we say the top cover, we are talking about this part right here that will move independently of the chassis. This is the top cover. This right here is all part of the upper chassis. Now, to get this cover off and get to your upper chassis and clean out all that stuff under there, or if you want to take it apart to do any kind of work on anything on the inside of the mower, you're going to have to remove this cover here first. So to start with that, you want to flip the mower up and you will have wires here that go from the top cover into your lower chassis. Now it doesn't matter if you have a 400 series, 500 series, or a 300 series mower, you're always going to have at least the one wire for the charging plates going in there. Believe it or not, under all this grass, there are grommets there. So the first thing you want to do is clean all this stuff out of the way so that that's not going to fall down in your mower. And, you know, when you put it back together, you're going to be able to get a good seal there when you put the grommets back in. Now you can see we got this area here much cleaner than it was. It's still not spotless, but it's okay. It's way better than it was, and most of the large pieces of dirt and debris are away from these grommets, which now you're going to pop them out of the lower chassis to reveal the plugs behind them so you can disconnect the wires that go from your lower chassis up to your top cover. So you can simply just take your, your finger and squeeze in on these grommets and just pry out on them a bit, and there you go. This is the one for your charging plates. All the mowers, the 300 series, 400s, and 500s will have this wire right here. They will at least have that. The other ones are for your ultrasonic sensors, and this one is for your headlights. So your X-series mowers will have a second one for the headlights. That would be your 315X, your 430X, 430XH, and of course your 450X and 450XH will look like this. Uh, same way with your, uh, your 500 series, they will have the ultrasonic and they will have the charging plates, but not the headlights. So again, we're going to go here and we're going to pop this other grommet out. And this one's going to have two plugs in there. And this is one you got to really be careful when you go to take this out because it's a bit of a tight fit for that second plug coming out of there. Ah, look at that. I got lucky. <laughs> Normally you have to be very careful and try to really wiggle that plug there to get it to come out. We got lucky that one came out very easily. Uh, and then the third one here on this one, this is going to be the headlights. Nice skinny little plug there. So we'll go ahead and we'll unplug them. Nothing really to it. Just a little lever latch there. You're going to push down on the back side of it and it's going to release the plug. And that's the way all of these plugs are here. All of them are different, so you can't reconnect the one, uh, the wrong plug to the uh, wrong plug in the chassis. So it's a very simple and straightforward process. So we'll unplug these and then show you what to do next. All right, we got all of our wires unplugged here. They're completely free. Now you want to make sure that your wires here on your lower chassis, make sure that they are out there, um, you know, a decent amount sticking out so that they don't get pulled back up in. Because if you're not taking this thing apart, you don't want to have to go trying to fish a wire or a plug back out of the lower chassis. So make sure they're out of there and they're not just going to get pushed back up in when you put the mower back down uh, on a flat surface. Because that's what we're going to do next. We got everything disconnected and now we're going to set the mower back down because now we have to pull this, this top cover here up off of the chassis. And it's held on there by some grommets onto the joystick sensors on this one. There's four joystick sensors. Uh, there's two in the front, two in the back, you know, one in each corner. On your 300 series, you have one joystick here in the front, and then you have two kind of dummy joysticks back there in the back corners. Uh, 500 series would be the same here as the 400 series. So this is a pretty simple procedure. Just gotta mount the camera onto a tripod so we can use two hands to show you how this is done. To remove this top cover, this piece right here, what you're going to do with your wires disconnected, you got them all hanging down here, all their wires are loose, you're going to grab the front bumper of your mower and you're going to hold down here 
on the upper chassis, on this part right here where it says auto mower, right on this nose piece. Hold down that and give a good tug up on your front bumper, just straight up, and it will unsnap. Then you're going to let that rest there, come to the back, and you're not going to grab the handle. You're going to grab on the rear bumper, which is part of this top cover, and you're going to hold down right here in front of your stop switch, and you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to give a, a good tug straight up, and it's going to snap right off there. You can see here, this is held on by these four rubber grommets, and this is held on to, they snap on to these joysticks, just like I was telling you. And you can see why here you would want to know how to get that apart, because you got all this stuff in here to clean out. Um, underneath all this dirt and debris, that's where your screws are at to separate the top chassis from the lower chassis. If you want to get in there to replace a wheel motor, uh, you know, replace a circuit board or anything like that, you have to start by being able to remove this top cover. So that's it there. That's the process. Very simple, very easy. And as you can see, uh, a good reason why you should know this. So that's going to do it for this little service video here. Uh, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you're looking for parts, accessories, tech support, uh, any of that kind of stuff, check out our new website, roboticmowerservices.com. A lot of great products on there. Uh, and also, you can always email us at roboticmowerservices at gmail.com if you have any questions or need further assistance or you're looking for something specific, give us a shout. But again, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos with these little tips and tricks of how to maintain your automower and keep it running properly. All right, thanks for watching.